today's the sleeping day. Okay. We'll do the white rim tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I don't you hear that wind? You can't bike when it's windy. <laughs> Everybody knows. Haven't you ever read a book? <laughs> oh, okay. I love waking up in a tent. Being out here is so good for my soul. Don't get me wrong, I love the city too. That's where I live, where I work. But I have to admit, most of my world is artificial. Cell phones, freeways, air conditioning, computer screens. The world we make for ourselves is all about comfort. And the cost of a comfortable world is higher than we thought. People who spend a lot of time in front of screens have trouble sleeping. They tend to be less happy than others. Those who spend more time on social media struggle more with envy. When God made us, this is the world he put us in. Not the mall, not in a subway or an elevator. Our soul is made to engage the real world. Think of how you feel after watching hours of TV or playing a marathon video game session. Compare that to what it feels like to swim in the ocean, go for a run, take a long ride, or just hang out at the park. I know a lot of men say that they don't go in for the outdoor thing, but here's something you have to remember. We don't like being in situations where we're tested, right? Men do not like being in situations where we feel like we might be in over our head, and so we avoid that. And the wilderness tests you. Sure, nature tests us, it challenges us, and that is actually really good for the masculine soul. But nature also restores us, renews us. Our senses were made to feel the earth, smell the rain. The more disconnected we become from the natural world, the more disconnected we are from what is real, from our souls, even from God. There's part of me that's so glad to be starting somewhere with it because you know that once you, once you actually like this, you're a better person than the person who doesn't. What do you mean by like this? Like just the... once you like and are comfortable being uncomfortable, and yeah. you know once you're like this is because that's that's kind of part of it. Like today we're bombing down the hill. It's like I'm almost like I don't. Am I having fun? Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Right. Like I'm, I right. I must be. No, oh, yeah. But I mean, it makes <laughs> sense that you're having that inner like thought process as you're flying down the hill, kind of going, I. I'm super uncomfortable right now, and I'm pretty sure I can hurt myself. Anytime. And then the, and then the moment of like recognizing that there is joy in it. And yeah. You do feel alive. You can get the sense that there's so much more life in, in being outside and, and being in a, in a tent. Yeah. And being on a bike and being scared and. The hope though is that it carries over because I mean I haven't I like I believe all those things. Right. But I haven't been outside since. November when like the first snow came mm -hmm. and that's five six months ago yeah and I am I'm one of the people that believes that going outside is good for you but I do hope that that posture of facing things that make you uncomfortable actually make you better rolls over into everyday categories the more we choose the real over the artificial the more our soul opens up to beauty and to God out here we are strengthened, we are renewed. Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Right. <laughs> much, much better.